Welcome to my Golden Games. I finally got a few things from Amazon that I've been waiting for. You know, I waited till Black Friday, uh, Black Saturday, Black Weekend, Black Week, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna start with the skeleton case. Again, I've been wanting to get this for probably two years now since I first got the GoPro. Just never got around to actually doing it. Here it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, and so basically the microphone is on this side. There's a little door here. So you actually get a lot better sound quality and you can actually use the mount, say in the Jeep, and actually hook up an actual microphone to it, an external microphone. We'll get to this last. Let's go to this next. Here we go, carbon fiber blades for the drone. Look at that. Let's pull one out. Should be a set of two, so eight blades total. Here we go, they're freaking lightweight, that's for sure. And it is real carbon fiber. Again, I'll have everything in the description so you can go check it out on Amazon yourself. We're gonna go inside for this one because it's the contrast of the sun is too much, so let's head inside. So here's the new watch we're inside so we can see it a little better now. It's an Invicta, it's out on Amazon. It's like 85 bucks I think I paid. It was supposedly on sale from like 550, but you know those Amazon prices don't always seem to be legit, you know. They could just throw any number out there. But this thing looks really nice, and the one thing I really loved about this one, let's get this out of here, is the back. It's got the open back so you can see into it. It's a glass window, of course, but looks really sick. Have not tried it on yet. This is my old watch that I've had for years. It's a Seiko. And it just started leaking one day. The batteries kept dying like every few weeks. I'd put a new battery in. It's like, okay, that's not right. So I just got sick of it, stopped wearing it. And ever since then, I've been wanting to get a new one. So like I said, saw this one. It's a dive watch. Supposedly it goes down to 200 meters. Or is it 300 meters? Eh, either way, I'll have the link in the description. But let's get this thing on and see how it is. Now again, this is an automatic watch as well, so I'm gonna have to set the date and time and everything. But once it starts moving, as you can see, inside there, it might be hard to see on the GoPro, but the movement in there, basically as you walk, it basically charges the watch. Uh, let's take this apart and uh, see how it looks on me. It looks pretty good. Uh, wait a second, it's a little big there. So I'm gonna need to get this adjusted, but you know, it doesn't feel too bad. Like there are some reviews that are like, oh, it's so heavy, but isn't that what you want in a big watch like this? Let me know what you guys think of this. I'll do another video on the carbon fiber blades, but this was just a, I don't know, kind of a free form video, I guess. All right, just before I end the video, I just wanna show you guys the watch. Got it adjusted, my dad knows how to do that. Again, he used to be a jeweler, if you guys didn't know that. And uh, we should be having this crowdfunding campaign start tomorrow. I think this watch looks really good. It looks like it's not focusing the best because it, you know, this is a GoPro. And it's meant for more, you know, action stuff. But anyways, I think it looks pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'm gonna have some fun with that drone as well with these new carbon fiber blades. Uh, basically, I just rub some diamond lube into it to help prevent the gold plating from wearing off. And then to give it a little scratch resistance protection too. Just makes it a little better. Uh, Quantum Coat is going to be the new product. All right, guys, have a great day. See you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already.